You want to see me, Father? So far, Luis hasn't notified the police or the feds about the information on those CDs he stole from my safe. That could mean he hasn't decoded them yet, but we need to prepare for the possibility he will and how to stop him. Walls are closing in, yes? Is that all you can say? What would you have me do? Blow my brains out? We'll see if you're so flip when they throw your sorry ass in jail. I've come to accept my fate, Father. At least something good will come of it. What the hell are you talking about? Eve will be reunited with the child you stole from us. And won't that be touching? But not for you, Julian. For you, it will be tragic, you see, because Eve will want nothing to do with you once you're in prison. So, you can sit in your lonely little cell and think of her with T.C., making passionate love with him, not you, night after glorious night. At least she'll be happy. Good God, this selfless side of you is positively revolting, Julian. It isn't the way I raised you to be. No, you raised me to be a chip off the old block, greedy, unconscionable, willing to do anything to hurt anyone to get what I want. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I never heard you complain when you were getting what you wanted, Julian. I was weak, Father. I should have stood up to you sooner. My biggest regret is letting you get away with what you've done for so long. No. Oh, no, your biggest regret will be turning on me, I assure you. Great. You're both here. I don't believe we have an appointment, Chief Bennett. If you see my assistant, perhaps she can arrange one for you. But as you can see, I'm very busy here. Yeah, I know how much you value your precious time, Alistair. Trouble is, it seems to be running out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll make an appointment... I don't need one. This is official business, and it can't wait. Well, then, spit it out. What do you want? I need to talk to both you and your son right now about your arrest. Well, I'm real glad that the two of you are together. Saves me a lot of time to having track you both down. Make your point and get out. My point is, that you're both screwed. I know about everything Luis found in those CD-ROMs. Meaning, I'll soon have enough information on both of you. Put you away for a very, very long time. Have you come to arrest us, Bennett? Do you have a warrant? Not yet. Well, then don't waste my time, damn it. You can show yourself out. You must know the walls were closing in on Ukraine. So don't do anything stupid, like plan some great escape. Because I sure as hell will let you slip out of what you got coming to you. I ask you to leave my office. Not until you give me your passports. Both of them, now! I want to make sure neither of you leave this country. Well, what the hell are you waiting for? I want your passports, now! Oh, I'm gonna need yours too. Let's go! Let this serve as a warning, Bennett. <laughs> a warning? You may be smug now, but I still hold the power in this city. Oh, stop. You're scaring me. You're making a dreadful mistake. Oh, you're the one who's made a mistake. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And so has my father. He came so close to finding damning information on you, but you always managed to buy your way out. Well, guess what? Not anymore. Finally, at long last, there's gonna be an end to the stronghold you've held in this town and everyone in it. Your father was a whopping failure, and so are you. Even your own wife saw you for the loser you are and left you. And how is Grace, by the way? Europe is lovely this time of year, so romantic. She must be having a splendid time with David, a sophisticated, well-traveled man who can show Grace all the things you never could. Oh, shut up, Craig. Yes, I'm sure Grace grew tired of being married to a man who could never measure up, a man who, like his father, never made much of his life, 
How bored she must have been, always stuck in the kitchen when she was married to you, whipping up those wretched tomato soup cakes. You bastard. And now she's off making passionate love in all the most beautiful cities in Europe. <laughs> Damn, you love <laughs> Go on, take your best shot, Chief Bennett. My security will be on you faster than you can say assault. Or how about police harassment, brutality? You know what? I won't play your game, Alistair. Perhaps not now. Not ever. You know what? Game's over, okay? There's no way out. And I'm going to enjoy watching you go down. Oh, and uh, remember what I said. Don't try slipping out of town, okay? Oh, airports, train stations, and bus stations are under watch. You're not gonna slip out of this one. No way. He's right, there is no way out of this. We're going down. Yeah, I must admit, I never thought this time would come, yet here it is. A monumental day in history, to be sure. The day the Crane Empire comes crashing down. Tell me, Father, was it all worth it? The hideous things we did, the pain we caused, the lies we told, the heinous acts we committed against even members of our own family, where did it get us in the end? Everything I have ever done has been for a reason. I've never doubted that. And if you hadn't become such a righteous bag of wind, you'd see that. So what you did to Sheridan, your, your own daughter, that was for a reason, was it? Of course it was. Sheridan was the fool who brought Luis Lopez Fitzgerald into our family's inner circle. Stupid girl. I'd always feared this very thing would happen, and sure enough, Sheridan has always been absurdly naive when it comes to love. I used to think that too, Father, but now I realize that Sheridan is the only member of this family who didn't sell out. She... she didn't devote her life to the pursuit of money and power and... and revenge and all those wonderful things we Cranes are famous for. You see, Sheridan, whom you so cruelly and wrongly call stupid, is really the smart one because she followed her heart. Oh, stop. Please, I'm going to cry. I often wonder how different my life would have been if I'd have done the same. Spare me your sob story, Julian. You've had plenty of women over your lifetime. You have not gone without. Only without the one I truly loved. Sentimental crap! And if you're referring to Dr. Eve, you're well rid of her. She was a mistake. Don't you dare say that. You've made a mess of things, Julian. Me? Yes, you. Do I need to remind you that you were supposed to handle the situation with Louise and Sheridan, not have it blow up in our faces? My God, if you hadn't bungled that boat explosion, we wouldn't be dealing with any of this right now. Louise wouldn't be on the verge of bringing us down, and Sheridan would be dead. Oh, my God. Louise was right.